Well, there was a few titles I kicked around, but not really. I, I knew that, you know, Rocket, uh, Just Between You and Me was a, was a very good title for the book. And because it's a memoir and not an autobiography, uh, it, and it's not about April Wine, it's about me. Of course, April Wine's huge in my life. But uh, there was Rock and Roll's A Vicious Game. There was Say Hello. <laughs> All these names that I, you know, I like to rock. Well, call the book, I like to rock. I, was like, I like to rock. That's good, too, but Just Between You and Me? Yeah. Perfect. The tough parts would be, uh, you know, my mother passing away when I was just about to turn 11. That was difficult because it messed up the whole family. You know, it was difficult for my dad, and uh, there were three young boys, so it was a very dysfunctional family after that. Luckily, I had music to turn to. That was difficult to write and remember. Yes, it seemed about writing a book like this. We, you know, there's some people that say some very nice things. I mean, th there's three pages, both sides, from everybody. Uh, it, so many people in the Canadian industry saying nice things about me and about the, my music and about the band, April Wine. And that in the book itself, there's a lot of people that remember situations and, and so forth over the years, and they say nice things as well. And so I'm sharing that as also. I'm not just sharing the, the tough... You know, the, the, as Alec Lifeson says, the warts and all. I'm, I'm sharing more than that. I'm sharing the cel there's a celebration too of some wonderful things that happened to me. And that's what the book covers. That's what the memoir, it starts from the beginning, being a little kid in a scruffy little neighborhood in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, called Tufts Gove. It was as tough as it sounds, right up to today. Me and you here, you know, it's pretty much all in there. <laughs>